Hello, everyone, and welcome to Late Night Diversification Talk. My name is Pascal Defoe, and as you may already know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an investment advisor either. So uh, nothing I'm going to tell you is an advice. If you need an advice, go to the nearest bank or financial institution. I'm saying this because whatever I'm going to tell you involves risk of losing everything you will put in. Okay, so be aware. And if you cannot take a loss, then stop right now stop watching if you're watching the recording right now and you know go do something else and be happy with one percent per year at the bank this being said tonight um i want to i think we'll focus really just on uh you know uh finishing up whoever is still not mining um and then and then we're going to talk about we're going to talk about harvesting. I kind of covered uh, pretty much um, harvesting in the past. Um, just so you know, what you see in uh, your dab is fake. Okay, uh, the thirteen point whatever you see in there is fake. It's not real. The only value that is real right now in there is three dollars, because. That is, um, you know, the money, that is the value that was set when there was an initial mine, uh, mining that was used to send the airdrops. Anything else is just a test value. The real value of BTCC will start once we start putting money in the liquidity. And until the bridge is open for everybody to do it and the swap is open, the any value you see in there is just you know i see some people are cheering it up yeah it, it's gonna go up no question asked it's, it's gonna go up um i'm pretty sure some of you are already sitting on uh three thousand or, or even higher uh harvesting cost <laughs> right cost. <laughs> yeah so it's gonna go up but um, you got to be patient until we all dump that money in there to start harvesting. Um, it's still going to be at $3. So if you were connected on um, the UK prime time, the calculation that you saw there is basically how you kind of estimate how, you know, about where the value could be. And it is actually an easy math. You know, it's easy to calculate because it's all, um, it's all, um, it's all proportional for everyone. You know, we all getting exactly the same amount of BTCC based on the miner that we owe, right? The miner we own that dictates exactly how much BTCC we're gonna get. So nobody is getting more or less than anyone because it is just math if you put more money in you're going to get more btcc out the value of btcc is going to go up based on the um the number of miners that are connected and based on the number of uh or the the the, the value of the liquidity that we all dump in um you know when we're ready to harvest and again, once you start, once the harvesting starts, don't be, don't be too fast at swapping. That would be a big mistake. I'll need to. Don't be too fast at swapping. Because the moment we start dumping money in, the value is going to change. It's going to start going up. I think at the moment that Chavez is going to release the bridge, um, the bridge to, uh, to live, he's going to fix the value that we see there. Right now it says BTCC 13 something. That is not real. The value that is real is the $3 that you see. But once he release the uh, once he releases the um, the bridge and we start putting money in, whether it's USDT or Wrapped Bitcoin or 
whatever, from that moment on, you will see the value of BTCC going up. That one will be real. The value will keep going up. Um, some people will wake up tomorrow. Okay, some people will wake up tomorrow and uh, that's when they're gonna dump money in. As you know, we all come from all different parts of the world. Uh, we're all in different time zones. So um, I don't know, Jan is here, but I'm pretty sure it's very late where he is. Uh, some other people are in places where it's uh, either early in the morning. So I would give it maybe another 24 hours. I know it's a lot to ask, especially if your costs keep going up. But let's let us give a chance to everybody that is, you know, um, that is trying to harvest to dump their money in. When they do that, it will keep pushing the value of the BTCC to the highest possible. Um, in simple term, do not do it if it doesn't make financially, if it doesn't make sense financially. What I mean by that is for you to swap, you got to find, you got to be able to get an upside. You got to be able to make a profit. If you're not making a profit, don't swap. That would be not a smart move. Okay. Um, okay. I was not planning to take questions now, but I'll take Nasrila question and then we'll go to whoever still needs help before we move to the next step. Yes, Nasrila. Hi, Pascal. Good evening, hey. good afternoon, where everyone is. Um, just, um, I heard you say do not swap, which I agree, but does that also mean do not harvest? Oh, no, 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 no. You can harvest. Okay. You can harvest, so harvest because you're harvesting using fiat money, or not fiat. It's still crypto, but using uh, the, the money that you put into the liquidity. That you have no control on. We all have to put that money in and to convert it to B fuel. We need to harvest. Harvesting, you keep your BTCC. It's a little bit like when you buy, let's say those who buy uh, any type of crypto when the value of that crypto is low. Or let's say, okay, let me, let me give you a different example. I like to explain that as the concept of value and the concept of quantity. Quantity and value are two different things. Today, you could have one Bitcoin. Imagine those who bought the Bitcoin at $69,000. Today, the Bitcoin, the same Bitcoin that they bought at $69,000 is $27,000. Is it the same quantity? Yes. Is it the same value? No. As long as they keep that same quantity, they haven't taken a loss. That is what is called a floating loss. So until you sell that's when you're acknowledging that loss so do not sell so the quantity so you could harvest this quantity today and hold on to it until the value is where you want it to be then you swap it that's what i'm saying so okay. harvesting yes we need to harvest we need to push that price up but you don't have to swap when before the price is right Okay, I, I assume you're going to talk about the USDT later in the video, so I'll hold off. We'll talk about it, but uh, if you were in the UK prime time, you probably noticed that Chavez was not quite releasing the uh, bridge um, address. You know, he was basically releasing it for the time for someone to uh, show a few things and then taking it away. We'll see if it is available. If it is available, we're going to play with it. I'm going to show you where the contracts are, where how you get onto them, how you, you know, how you use them. Okay, so we're going to cover all that. We're going to cover Thank all you. the steps, you know, you know, yeah. you need to take to convert to to uh, bridge to convert to swap, whatever. My, my only concern there was the fee, the Tron fee. So if we can have an alternative suggestion, I'd like that. Um, I'm going to show you something else. Um, you don't pay, you don't pay Tron fees. Um, when you pay Tron fees is because you don't know the concept on, of energy on the Tron network. So I'm going to show you how to play with energy 
how to borrow energy at a very cheap cost in order to do all kind of transaction on the Tron network. Amazing. Thank you. All right. I'm sorry for my French people, but when it comes to time to ask questions, feel free to ask in French. Uh, donc, je disais, je suis désolé pour uh, l'audience uh, francophone. C'est normalement une journée anglophone. Uh, mais au moment des questions-réponses, posez en, en français et je répondrai en français. Um, all right. I will start with Catherine. She's been waiting for the last, I don't know how many days. How are you, Catherine? Oh, okay. I'm good. Thank you. All As right. You Share know. your screen, please. We I'm, have a I'm lot to do and now, not so much seems. time. Sorry? Finally, this evening, as I was doing, I just keep trying, trying, and finally, I'm all on. I want to see your screen, Catherine, if you don't mind. Because I, I don't want, I don't want to, you know, Any just, I, I would love yeah. to take your word for it, but let me still review okay. it. And then uh, once we all know that all good, then we can move to someone else. Okay. All right. Um, can I reconnect on the screen where, on a different device? And that is, you have the, yeah? you have the, uh, the Zoom invitation. So you can, you can Thank log you. in using whichever device you want. All right. Okay, here I am. This is the link you just sent. Recording in progress. Mm -hmm. I'll I can turn, off, turn this off your sound on one of the devices. No, let me take that one off completely. I think it will be easy. Right, it's just... Share screen, screen. Um, okay, as that's happening, let me get right there. This is also cool. Okay. okay. Can you see me? Okay, I can see. And I can see that, oops, we lost oops. that. You go back to your DAP, please. Back to my DAP, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I can see your DAP and I can mm -hmm. see that, um, okay, you have zero miners in your wallet. That's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. for those who want to know where I see that, if you look at the top near the middle of the screen, um, at the very top, but in the middle of the screen vertically, you'll see a zero. My NFT zero, that value tells you what is in the wallet. Mm -hmm. um, so that means you got nothing in the wallet, everything in the in the note, which is good. So that, that's why, uh, um, you know, just above the miners, you see miners in the note and you have, um, I think it's maybe four or five. And then can you click on miners in wallet just so we confirm it's empty? Exactly, it's empty. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, on the left menu, can you please click on dashboard? All right. So on dashboard, you can see my Xeon miner uh, near, the, uh, the, near the end of the screen. On the left, you see my Xeon miners. It says- Total mining dashboard, no, sir. Um, okay, it's right there, um, you know, can you see it? My Xeon miners, it says seven. That tells you how many miners are actually connected to the- I see it, uh, yes, I've seen it, sorry, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know if, can you guys see my, my, my mouse? No. You cannot see my mouse, can you? No. Okay, can you move your, okay, you're on an iPad. Anyway, so um, Xeon, my Xeon miner is, uh, how can I describe? It's like almost in the middle of the screen. So it's really yeah, I've seven. seen it. 
which is good. It's actually I'm not just for you. I mean, for other people as well, uh, Catherine. Oh, okay. Um. Uh -huh. So it reads seven. It means there are seven that are connected. Uh, I'm also planning tonight to uh, go over um, a description and explanation of the different uh, part of the dashboard so that uh, down okay. the road, you know exactly what is what and uh, you know how to understand what you see there. Uh, right now, basically, what it says is that Catherine has consumed 2,432.56 <laughs> six seven B fuel. Mm -hmm. And the equivalent in US DT is thirty dollars four hundred and seven B fuel consumption. So where are you where are you reading that from? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Oh. Don't move. All right. Sorry. Do you see where you were reading my Xeon miners seven? Yes. Read the next line below it. B fuel consumption. Okay, right, right. Mm -hmm. That is your B fuel consumption in B fuel. Mm -hmm. Now, this B fuel consumption is the combination of all your miners. You have a miner that consumes 0 0.278 B fuel per second. You have mm -hmm. one or two miners that consume 0 0.0278 per second. And you have mm -hmm. some 1x miners that consume 0 0.00278 per Definitely. second. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is the combination of all that that so far has consumed 4, 000, 4, uh, sorry, 2,432.567. If you look at the block on the right of this one, you see my mined BTCC, which is the mm -hmm. amount of BTCC that you've already mined. That is 1.194. Okay. You see, uh, not the middle line, not so interesting for you, but the bottom line in that middle block, you see B mm -hmm. fuel consumption net worth, mm -hmm. 30.407. That's in mm -hmm. USDT. That's the value. Ah. That's the cost of harvesting that you've, you, you, if you choose to harvest right now, you will need to pay on all of your miners 30.407. That makes sense. Yes. Okay. So that's the the U.S. money. That, that is one. USDT. Beef yes. consumption net yeah. worth. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Now on the last block on the far right, mm -hmm. at the top it reads my mind BTCC net worth was sixteen point mm -hmm. three nine eight. Mm -hmm. Now do not take this value for granted because. How is it calculated? It's basically calculated by multiplying the number of BTCC that you've mined already, which is 1.194, and it is multiplied by the price that is not right, the price okay. of one BTCC, which is 13.734. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to be three. Right now, it's supposed to be three. You can mm -hmm. see it on... Too bad you cannot see my mouse. Mm. Too bad you cannot see my mouse. I think I can actually. Is is it your mouse? Oh no, no. This is live, isn't it? Sorry, it's not your mouse. Yeah, my mouse. I I you know I have my phone as well, but I cannot mm. see. I cannot see my mouse when I look at my phone. So where, where is it? Let me see if if that's what I'm thinking it is. Okay, look at the second line, the second block, the second line line of blocks. Mm -hmm. Look at the far right, you will see three USD equal BTCC. Second, second, yeah. Uh, the, the second line, the second, the second series, the second um row, the second row of blocks. Look at the second mm -hmm. row, the far right column. Oh, yes, yes. You three, see three USD three, uh, equal USD BTCC. Equals, uh -huh. That is the real value of the BTCC right now. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the real value. 13, what you see on the far left um, column, 13.734 mm -hmm. is not real. It okay. is a test value. It is All not. Right. Um, so Chavez mentioned that they tested 
they were testing. Okay, so it's All not right. like it's uh it's they trying to to uh to is fool it, anyone. Mm -hmm. No, the I real value okay. is three. Uh, the test value is up there. Mm -hmm. But from the moment he will open the bridge and we start mm -hmm. dumping our cash in there in crypto, um, okay. we will see the curve of the BTCC. You see where it says uh, three USD. You will see that curve or that graph going crazy. Okay, the graph will start to move there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the graph Thank will start you. to move. And uh, there's also uh, the circulating market cap that is going to start to move and um, some some other stuff. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like you don't have any problem anymore. You all good, you all set. I'm glad to see that. Well, don't ask me how it happened. It's the same thing I've been doing over and over again. All, all good. As long as you got there, that's uh, the most important. So let me see if, if someone else needs there. help. Okay, so stop sharing so I can see stop if someone sharing. else okay. needs help. Thank you. You're welcome. Back to you before I can stop. Come. Come. At the top there, if you look at the top of your screen. Yeah, I've done okay, it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Kwame, and share your screen. If you need uh, help, please raise your hand. Okay, it was not a hand, hand, but just a question uh, about okay, uh, go ahead. buying a new miner. Is it possible now? Or shall uh, I not before it? we start the harvesting. So Chavez said he wanted to start harvesting maybe for like uh, 24 hours. Then he will reopen the um, the, the purchasing of, um, of uh, new miners. Uh, okay, the purchase in, in, in uh, we are all Satoshi, yeah? Correct, yes. Okay, thank you. At the same time, the secondary market will also be open. So that means uh, if I want to start selling my own miner within that market, I sh I will be able to do so. But I guess um, we all want to, we, we want to get people to buy through We Are All Satoshi. Why? Why is it so? Why do we want to get people to buy through We Are All Satoshi? For the liquidity of the whole thing. No, not for the liquidity. No matter where we buy, we want the we get the liquidity. Why do we want to get them to buy through We Are Satoshi? It's cheaper. Affiliate marketing. Yeah. Sorry. Somebody said the right word. Affiliate. Affiliation part. We want the affiliate business. We have two businesses going on here, guys. We have two projects going on. We have the affiliate side and we have the mining side. So we want to bring people through the affiliate side so that it can generate the referral bonus, the uh, check match, the you know all those bonuses. And then when they get through there, they can continue buying new miners and it will generate, uh, how do we call that again? Uh, that extra bonus that we get, I forgot. The booster bonus, right? The booster reward. We can continue getting that when they do it through the uh, the proper channel, which is through WAS. And then when they start mining, that's extra. That's their own money. We have nothing. We 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 basically not gaining anything from them mining. However, when they're successful mining, they will bring more liquidity, right? And that will increase the value of the uh, BTCC, which is in turn good for everybody. And also if the proof of reserve grows, then they can have the miner for free nearly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, anybody else is still not mining? Is anyone else still not mining? Or do, does anyone Wait. have a question around mining? Yeah. Yes, go ahead, Jan. Oui, Et Pascal, just rapidement, enfin, je peux le poser en français? Pour... Oui. Oui, c'est-à-dire qu'il y a, y a deux de mes filles qui ont uh, connecté le, 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 le mineur hier. Et ça a été approuvé sur le blockchain comme success. Mais et toujours, ce n'est pas... Et 
Ce n'est pas listé sur le dashboard comme, comme quoi ils ont acheté le mineur. Et aussi, euh, ils n'ont pas commencé à miner. Ça fait presque 12 heures de temps. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose de normal qu'on peut… Euh, il faut attendre toujours… Euh... OK. So the question Yann is asking, two of his downline purchase. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, Yann. They purchased yesterday or they, what did they do yesterday? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they already got the, the miners minted. Okay. okay. Oh, minted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, already minted. So basically they, they went yesterday to connect to the nodes. Mm -hmm. And it, it went through, okay, because I've checked on the blockchain, it was successful, but mm -hmm. still it's not showing up on the dashboard and we still haven't started to, to, to mine. So I'm just wondering, is it, is it normal or, or we have to wait? What I can tell you is that, um, that was my may... problem. Sometimes you have <laughs> successful uh, mm -hmm. transactions in the blockchain mm -hmm. without it being actually successful. A, a simple mm -hmm. example is uh, those who connected to, with me yesterday, uh, mm -hmm. I, I was trying to disconnect my own miner. Uh, I was trying to disconnect my miner because, uh, you know, I was trying to show people how they can disconnect. But the problem with my miner is that Uh, like for many others, it is no longer visible. Uh, Chavez said it is uh, a user interface issue that will be fixed, but it's not visible. Like if I share my screen right now, give me a second. If I share my screen and I go to my miner, let's see. Okay, so, okay, it's connected. Let me hide this. At least until last night, I don't know if I checked that today, but my miners has not been visible for at least all of yesterday. Uh, okay, so this is my dashboard. This one is visible. All right. So this is my dashboard. Uh, still loading. So as you can see, I've mined 36.7 so far, and uh, my consumption so far is sitting at uh, 631. Um, okay, so if I go to mine on the left hand side here, all right, on the left hand side menu, when I say miners in node, as you can see, I don't see anything. My miner is not visible. Um, I try to disconnect just by clicking on disconnect node. It will show that it is successful, but it's actually not because the miner is still uh, connected and is still mining. So the easiest way to disconnect for those who want to disconnect is by clicking on unstake. But for that, you need to be able to still be seeing your miners in your node, in the node, you still be seeing the miners listed, then you can click on unstake and then it will be disconnected. So um, sometimes it takes sometimes it takes uh, a few hours for the transaction to be acknowledged if especially if the person has done several transactions and they are piled up uh, pending. So give it some time and uh, see if it's gonna, you know, if it's going to get back. And if it doesn't get back, uh, you know, create a ticket in uh, WAS. All right, Jan? I'm sorry, Pascal. Uh, from what I understood, I thought Jan was saying his team had bought the miners 
but they can't see them in the dab or in the MetaMask? Because did they import them in the MetaMask? That is, um, so I guess, yeah, that's exactly the problem. The problem is that, you know, um, when we're not seeing, it's difficult to troubleshoot something. If we were seeing, we could actually exactly tell what's happening. Uh, right now, we're just kind of speculating exactly what's going on. Maybe it is something else that is causing it not to happen. I don't know. You know, it's it's hard to tell exactly what's going on. Uh, it would have been a lot easier if we could see that, you know, the, the, those particular dApps to uh, to sh to offer, um, you know. Because what has worked is because half of mine were mining and half were mining. And what worked for me is I was on my phone and then I don't know if that would help his team members. But when I downloaded MetaMask on my laptop and I imported those uh, NFTs that did not connect to the node, uh -huh. on my laptop and then connected them they connected so i don't know if they want to try a different device it might help definitely having more than one device uh, especially when it comes to these things if you have the opportunity to have them on more than one device install them on more, more than one device because if it doesn't work on one you try on another one and sometimes it works you know so do that you might um you never know so if they're doing it on the on on a phone try on a computer if they're doing it on a computer try on a phone all right yeah okay roman uh je peux parler en français oui okay um Donc, en résumé, si je comprends bien, euh, on peut faire les récoltes. Par contre, euh, j'avais cru comprendre, enfin, sur le groupe Telegram, ils ont mis des adresses des tokens euh, de BTC20. C'est bien ça? Et est-ce qu'il est utile maintenant de d'envoyer l'argent en W... WBTC de, de Ethereum et ensuite aller faire le swap sur euh, sur euh, le dashboard de de Bitcoin Code. Les récoltes ne sont pas encore ouvertes. Ah, OK. Pas les récoltes ça. ne sont pas ouvertes. J'avais à présenter comment on les fait, mais euh, l'adresse ou alors l'outil où il faut le faire, il ne l'a pas euh, encore laissé ouvert. On va aller tester pour voir s'il est disponible. Euh, on va voir s'il est disponible. Why is it so slow? I'm done typing. Yeah. You see? So, voici l'adresse du bridge. As you can see here, the bridge, Chavez released it just the time of, uh, you know, the time to let people show how it works, and then they took it away again. So, we cannot access the bridge. On ne peut pas encore accéder à la fonctionnalité qui nous permet de, euh, à la fonctionnalité qui nous permet de convertir ou alors de passer d'une de la blockchain Ethereum à la blockchain uh, Bitcoin code. So we can know the address between, between the uh, BTC20. Mm -hmm. L'adresse que vous venez de taper, moi, je l'ai, je l'ai, mais elle est, enfin, j'ai la page, quoi. Je, je vois. Ah bon? Oui. Bah, moi, oui, je l'ai. Bitcoin code, point technologie, et je suis sur la page. Ah, t'es chanceux. Apparently, this address works for, uh, works for Romain. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. So as you can see, uh, if I go to a different page, let me just confirm that my internet connection works. I'm trying to go on Google. Let me see. Um, oh, 
All right. Looks like my son searched for games on the computer. So I've got to stop that because that's exactly how hackers get in. Okay. So no, my. my uh, my internet connection appears to be good. Um, it worked for me, Pascal. Sorry? It's worked for me. It's loaded. It does? Yes. I'm wow. in the UK, London. London, UK. Okay. It seems to be working for me now. Give me a second. Brilliant. <laughs> no, it does not. All right. Uh, I'll stop sharing so someone else can share. Oui, Romain, vas-y, partage ta page. Okay. Vous voyez? Oui. Ah, donc, c'est l'adresse bridge, bitcoincode.technologie. Est-ce que Et... tu peux rafraîchir ton écran? Ouais. Awesome. So, yeah, I don't know why it doesn't work for me. Let me quickly check on my... Uh, let me check on my phone. I'll quickly check on my MetaMask on the phone and tell you if it does work on my phone. J'espère qu'il n'y a pas de restrictions selon, selon le pays, non? Bah, je ne sais pas. I don't know. I'll tell you that right now. If it works on my phone, then there's no restriction. Maybe it's just my computer not letting it in. Not letting it. Oh, yeah. I think I know what's happening. Uh, je pense savoir ce qui se passe. It's probably my... Um, it's probably my... How do you call it? My uh, antivirus that is not letting it through. So I'll add it to my... Um, I'll add it to the exception... And then I'll see. No, still nothing. Donc, euh, dernière petite question. Du coup, si si j'avais déjà des des WBTCC, enfin, le wrap. Uh, il faudrait que je le, je le change à nouveau pour le passer en USDT 3. Okay, I can tell you that it works on my phone. So I don't know why it doesn't work on my computer. Um, so going back to the question that, uh, yeah, I don't know, it doesn't work. Uh, going back to the question that Romain is asking. Um, so basically, um, I'll go back to French and then I'll explain in English. Uh, en principe, oui, à partir d'ici, la prochaine étape, ce serait de euh, connecter un portefeuille Tronlink. Tu vois, connecter un portefeuille Tronlink. Mm -hmm. Connect, connect. Uh -huh. Si ton portefeuille, non, pas MetaMask, Tronlink. Parce que là, on part, on part de Tronlink vers BTC20. OK, donc il faut que j'ai de l'argent sur mon Tronlink. Oui. Et ensuite, je pourrais swapper. Exact. OK, OK. okay. So basically, what's happening, um, yeah. once you reach, um, I'll actually share my phone screen so we can, uh, we can do it on my phone. And... Um, I'll, let me see if I can switch to a different wallet. I don't have a different wallet. I only have the one wallet on my phone and I don't want to collect, connect my main wallet to, uh, Ok, euh, ben Romain, si tu as fini, donc si tu n'as pas d'argent, on ne peut rien essayer. Donc si tu as fini, tu es. Mmh. Alors on va connecter. Ok, 
so all right All right, so there is the bridge. Yes, Suzanne, you will need a Tromlink wallet. And in the meantime, you're welcome to join Daisy too. All right, so um, basically the right thing to do at this point because, and the reason why uh, Chavez chose to go to uh, Tromlink and to uh, USDT TRC20 is because it's cheaper. And with, be, with USDT being a stable coin, it is less, it is, it is not volatile. So your, your money stays the same. Donc la raison pour laquelle uh, Chavez a décidé de passer par USDT TRC20, c'est parce que c'est moins cher. Et puis uh, uh, le fait que USDT est un stable coin, bah, ça change pas de So basically, the first step would be to connect your wallet. So you click on connect your wallet. Please install the TronLink plugin and refresh the page. I do have TronLink on my wallet, so I don't know why it doesn't. So, okay, I see what they did. So basically, they would not allow us to connect. See, so this button is appears not to be active. I don't know if someone else can try, but... Um, it won't let me. So I say 10. Connect wallet. No, it's not letting me. So the first step would be to connect your wallet, okay, by clicking on connect wallet. And it would happen, it would behave the same way it does when you try when you connect your MetaMask wallet when you go on the um when you go on the when you go on the uh the DAP which is a uh, Bitcoin code, where is it? So yeah, when you come here, right? You see, now my MetaMask wallet is disconnected from the DAP. So the 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 uh, TronLink wallet should behave exactly the same. So when I click Connect Wallet, it should offer me this page to pick TronLink. TronLink is already installed on my on my phone, as you can see. TronLink is there, so it should be able to see that TronLink is already there. So when I click Connect Wallet. And uh, I'm, I'm, I, I am on the DAP. It offers me to connect one of the wallet that would make it work. So I click this and boom. So it should happen the same way. And the moment it is connected to the wallet, it sees everything that is in the wallet. And uh, for that reason, you can, you can do some transactions. Okay. Let's share this. Romain, um, as-tu une autre question? Do you have another question? Okay. Uh, give me a chance to read in the chat. Looks like some people are posting the question in the wall in the chat. Um, okay. Two of my downlines connected the miners yesterday. The contract was successful on the blockchain. However, the miners are still not showing up on the dashboard. Uh, and not working and no B fuel is this normal? No, it's not normal. Uh, all it means is that even though it shows as successful, it actually did not connect to the node. Uh, how can we install the Tron plugin on the MetaMask app on my phone? No, you need to install Tron wallet, a uh, Tron link wallet. Okay. So TronLink, for TronLink, you can go straight to, uh, I don't know if you're using an app, for, an app Apple or Android, but if you go to Android, you should be able to find TronLink. 
install TronLink. TronLink is the official wallet of the Tron blockchain. So that's what you need to install. And then you will be able to uh, connect with your Tron link. So that's what they were doing on the UK primetime Zoom. They were showing how to connect from, uh, I think for, uh, Ferda was using her Tron link to do that. Um, so yeah, when you're on the bridge, you need to click, as I showed, on connect wallet on the top right. And then, uh, yeah, okay, I see that. Jan actually got the same message that I just did. So it's not just me. Uh, somebody posted, okay. Uh, Matteo posted the uh, the link for the bridge. For some reason, it doesn't work on my computer. Don't ask me why. Uh, ici aussi, ça fonctionne. So Susan got it to work as well. Looks like I'm the only... Uh... So uh, yes, Susan, you need to uh, install Tron link. Just make sure to keep your 12 secrets seed phrases, okay? Uh, donc, oui, il te faut installer TronLink. Assure-toi de garder tes 12 mots secrets. Uh, yes, Laurent. Oui, Laurent. Ouais, peut-être. J'ai une question. Peut-être que la question a été répondue en anglais, mais moi, mon anglais, il est un peu, il est un okay. peu lointain. Parce que justement, quand j'essaie de connecter mon portefeuille Tron, TronLink, sur le téléphone, il demande une extension. Comment ça se passe parce que demande d'installer l'extension TronLink. Um, C'est ce que je viens d'expliquer tantôt. Il euh, n'y a pas, à ce que je sache, une extension TronLink oui. de MetaMask. Oui. Euh, oui. C'est TronLink. Mais bon, you, on va aller chercher ensemble et on va voir si effectivement il y en a une. So, let's play dumb. OK? We, you don't know... We don't know it all, so let's play dumb and go on uh, Dr. Google and see if we can find an extension, MetaMask extension for TronLink. I had never, I've never heard of such thing, but you know, maybe there's one. So let us find out together. I've never heard of a TronLink extension for um for uh how do you call it for metamask okay now you're telling me rich bitcoin code the technology okay it's blacklisted i thought i had added that bridge bitcoin code the technology uh is there That doesn't change anything anyway. Okay, so. Google should be your friend, by the way. Everything is in Google and YouTube, okay? Uh, nowadays, apparently TikTok. So uh, apparently TikTok is the new Google. So if you're looking for how to do something, Go on Google. If you don't find it on Google, go on TikTok. You have a good chance to find it there. So um, let's look for TronLink extension for, as you can see, it doesn't offer me MetaMask, but let's write MetaMask. TronLink extension for MetaMask. Let's see if we get something. Normally, um, you would find, if there was such an extension, you would find it on the official web page of Tronland. I don't find anything here. Tronland network is not compatible with MetaMask and so on. And that's the reason why they use the bridge, which is specifically program to be a side app. It doesn't work on MetaMask. If there was, okay, if there was an extension for MetaMask from TronLink, you will find it here. 
let's go to the official page, tronlink.org. If there was an extension, you would find it here. Okay. Uh, TronLink wallet, I already have it. Yeah. All right, so basically if I click install now, it will show me all the extensions that are available. And as you can see, I have an extension for Android, I have an extension for Apple, and I have an extension for Chrome Web, you know, for the Chrome browser. And that's what I use here. If you look at the top, I think you get, you, you're seeing my, uh, yeah, I think you're seeing this thing. So if you look at the top right here, I think you can see my mouse, right? If you look at the top, you will see my uh, TronLink extension. So these are the only extension. These are the only way you can install TronLink. There's no such thing as TronLink for MetaMask. No, there isn't. Donc, il n'y a pas une extension TronLink pour MetaMask. Le message qu'on reçoit n'est pas... En fait, ce qu'ils veulent vous dire, c'est d'installer TronLink. Et si TronLink est installé, ça devrait marcher. Et, Mais euh, je l'ai déjà. Et je l'ai déjà. Et quand je vais sur TronLink, je vais dans les DAB qui sont acceptés. Il y a le bridge, le bridge Bitcoin Coin qui, qui apparaît. Partage ton écran. Attends. Oui. All right. So let's see what, let's look at what Laurent is seeing and, uh, and then uh, go from there. After this, if there's no more question, we can go straight to um, the description of the DAP. And uh, after the description of the DAP, we're going to talk about harvesting. Vous voyez mon écran? Oui. Voilà. Là, je suis sur le bridge. Il me, porte, il me met ça comme question. Mm -hmm. Ça dit TronLink. TronLink. Il faut installer oui, oui, TronLink. Là, je l'ai, non, je l'ai déjà. Et là, quand je vais dans... Link, je vais dans setting les les DAB connexion le bridge il est tu il est accepté ok tout ce que ceci veut dire, c'est qu'il y a eu une connexion à partir d'une adresse Internet qui s'appelle bridge.bitcoincode.technology. Ça ne veut, oui, veut pas dire que TronLink a listé que euh, Bitcoin Code est une adresse euh, qui devrait marcher. Mm -hmm. Donc, on s'entend bien. Oui. Et, so, what I'm saying here is that the fact that we see bridge.bitcoincode.technology in the list of that DAP connection within TronLink doesn't mean that TronLink has listed bitcoincode.technology as one of the accepted DAP. No, all it means is that there was an attempt of a connection from, uh, from, a, from the website bridge.bitcoincode.technology. Now, why it didn't work? That's why I'm saying it is quite possible that um, the technical team, Chavez's team, may have somehow uh, disconnected or prevented the uh, the connection because he said it is it's not going to work before the U.S. prime time. Donc Chavez a dit que ça devait pas marcher avant le U.S. prime time à 19 heures, uh, donc dans une heure, so in about an hour. Um, so that's when they're going to have it working. Okay. So it's not going to work. Let's wait for the U.S. prime time. But at least they didn't take it back. Uh, donc, uh, ça va pas marcher avant le U.S. prime time. Donc, on va simplement attendre le U.S. prime time pour que uh, ça marche. Okay. Okay. okay so ça marche. Okay. Do we have another question before I uh, I go into uh, description of the the DAP? 